Greetings and salutations! Welcome to another episode of Experimental Brewing with me, Big Sigu. So, on this episode, we are going to be revisiting the hopped cider that I did previously. In the previous one, I hopped in primary and I got good results. I like the, the, the cider that resulted from that, however, I think I can do better. And so this time, I'm going to do, rather than just a single gallon, I'm going to do a big batch, baby. We're talking 20, possibly even 23 liters. So, for this, what am I going to be using? I'm going to be using one of these. Look, it's a brew body cider kit. Makes up to 40 pints. Some sugar. Fair trade. I'm going to use the same yeast I used in the last one, which is super wine yeast compound for high alcohol some yeast nutrient. I'm going to use one of these this time that I didn't use last time. It's a Golden's Hop Powder, which is hop oil in malted extra, and that's going in primary. But the hops are going to go in secondary. And I don't have the hops right at this very second to show you, because they're on order from the States. Um, and they'll be, they'll be arriving pretty soon. Um, so they'll be available for when this has finished fermenting. Um, oh, there was something else that I was going to put in as well. Um, what the hell was it? Oh, God, I hate it when this happened. It was... Oh, yeah. It was... 20 litres of apple juice. As well. So... Normally, you would take one of these kits and you would put the, the kilo of sugar in and you would fill it up with 23 litres of water but instead of water I'm going to use apple juice so I'm going to get all the sugars and apple flavours from the juice and all the sugars and apple flavours from this tin which is essentially just uh, concentrated apple juice I'm expecting to get quite a strong brew. Pretty gloopy stuff. But what else would you expect? Nice. Now, as with a, a beer kit, you would normally pour a kettle into this to get the remains of the whatever it was, the wort, hopped wort out. Now I just want to put apple juice in here, not water. So I'm just going to shove a litre of apple juice into this tin. Right, I've got a shitload of these to do now. Right, the apple juice is all in. Have a look. Here we go. There she is. Now, the gravity has come out at 1068 with the 20 litres of apple juice and the kit. Now, it looks like it's up to about 20, 21 and a half litres, maybe, um, with obviously the volume of the, the kit as well, the cider kit. So it's not dense enough. It's not dense enough. 1068 is not enough. So I'm going to put in the kilo of sugar. Get that done now. One kilo. So after adding uh, the kilo of sugar, it's only gone up to 1082, which is, I was surprised that, to be honest. Um, it's not as dense as I would like it to be. So I've had a look in the cupboard to see what else I can get. And I've managed to scrape together 126 grams more of white sugar. And this was previously a bar sugar, a solid raw cane sugar. 
I've just used my coffee grinder to grind and the mortar and pestle. Uh, so now it's a powder. So I'm going to chuck all this in as well. I need to measure how much I've got here. Right, so that addition of sugar, I don't know if you can see, let's put it up to 1086. Um, so that was 110 grams of ground up raw bar sugar and then another 126 grams of the white sugar. Right, so the temperature as you can see is 17.3. That's not precisely where I need it to be, but it's close enough for the moment. Because I'm going to be using... Just get it out. I'm going to get it out now. Why? There we go, it's an immersion heater for an aquarium. Uh, that's why I put my brews in the winter. It's just sterilising just now. That's going to bring it up to 20C and keep it there. Temperature maintenance is everything. Right, so the last stage is nutrient, this stuff, and then the yeast. Okay, let's do this. Okay, hot powder, fill that in. Yeast nutrient. Now it's one teaspoon per gallon, and there's almost five gallons here, so I'm going to shove in five. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's time for my super wine yeast compound. This is also one one heaped teaspoon per gallon. Job done. Right now. Come back to this after a few hours of fermentation. Okay, it's now a couple of days later. Let's have a look under the lid. Got a nice foam formed. Fermentation's underway. Sweet.
<laughs> it's now been four days since you saw the last part of the video where I put the Cascade hops into the cider and I played some funky music for you. Um, I've just had a taste. I wanted to see how hoppy it's tasting at this point, midway through the week. And it's nice. I like it. But I want it to be hoppier. It needs more hops. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put in 100 grams of Summit pellets. It's the end of the road. Product is now bottled. And here it is, the final item. Orchard Assault. 11.4% ABV, dry hopped turbo cider. Get some, says Snow White with her apple firing assault rifle. This, technically, it's not, it's not carbonated yet. It's not fully carbonated. I wanted to make sure and get this video done. I wanted to do it because I've been promising it for so long. So, I mean, it still tastes good. still tastes great. I've had a taste before, but I'm going to open some just now. So that we can have a look. A very minimal hiss there. But it's still a very enjoyable drink. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much crystal clear. Can you see me through it? Hello. Mm. Um, and it's got a really good aroma to it. Oh, Appley. With both hops, you've got the Cascade and the Summit in there. Now, obviously this is not carbonated. I'm looking forward to when it will carbonate and I used the finings um, in secondary before bottling which took out pretty much damn near all of the yeast so that's why it's not fizzy um, but it will eventually carbonate it's just going to take weeks and this video would have taken weeks before it came out as well so hence the reason cheers mm. You know, if you've not tried uh, hopped cider, dry hopped cider before, I recommend it. If you're a lover of big beers, uh, big hoppy beers, and you like a cider as well, give it a shot. Do a one gallon test batch. Just brew up your favourite cider, dry hop it in secondary, and uh, then filter out the hops. And there you are. Delicioso. Mm. It's got a, a zestiness to it, a tartness. It's a dry cider, I've not added any back sweetening or anything. Uh, but it certainly it still seems to have a sweetness to it. 11.4% this came out as. And a word of warning on a serious note. If you intend to make this consider how strong you want to make it. Because this is 11.4% doesn't taste like 11.4%. This tastes like juice. And I got really, really pissed drinking it one night. Can't remember going to bed and the wife was really annoyed. Okay? <laughs> so perhaps consider mm, not brewing it quite as strong, but definitely try it because it's delicious. Thank you very much for watching. Please if you like this video, consider sharing it, subscribe to my channel, and hope to see you next time. Cheers now.